Welcome back now for the details in full. President Abdel Fattah Sisi arrived in the Japanese capital Tokyo to head the Tokyo International Conference for African Development, TCAD, with the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Radi said that the TCAD summit is amongst the most important development international gatherings between Africa, Japan, and international organizations. Radi noted the seventh edition of TCAD will be held in the city of Yokohama between August 28th and 30th. Several heads and leaders of African countries are participating in the conference fostering cooperation and strategic partnership between Japan and Africa. The TCAD 7 aims at boosting investment and trade ties between Japan and African countries. The conference will discuss several files including health, education, climate change and women empowerment, as well as Africa's security and development. Earlier, President Sisi headed to Japan after concluding a visit to France, during which he participated in the Group of Seven Summit. And for more on uh, President Assisi's uh, visit to Japan and his participation, the TCAT Summit, we have uh, joining us over the phone, Mr. Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant to the Foreign Minister. Thank you very much for joining us, Your Excellency. Thank you. How are you? Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Ambassador. President Assisi had arrived at the Japanese capital. He's expected to head the Tokyo International Conference for the African Development TCAT 7. Um, what does this signify? What are the expected outcomes of this summit? God help our president. This is his second uh, visit to Japan in a few weeks. Uh, he attended the G20. He attended in France. The G7 now is attending the Japanese Africa uh, conference. And this is very important. Our uh, president is appearing everywhere to show that our foreign policy is very wide from Japan to Paris, from uh, Washington to Moscow to China to South Africa. And now we are proud that our uh, capital, Cairo, is hosting the most extensive uh, number of embassies in the whole world. This means that Egypt has good relations with every country in the world. We are opening our economy for foreign direct investment also, and this is the main target of the uh, president's uh, participation. We have a, an open market with Africa, 20, uh, 51 uh, countries, with the whole Arab world, 18 countries, with Europe, 28 countries. So uh, the message that our president is carrying with him, that if you produce in Egypt, you are exempted from any custom duties or any trade barriers in a, 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 a wide market of more than 2,000 million inhabitants. And this is a very good attraction for foreign direct investment. The other file our president is uh, taking with him is the African file itself, where Africa is really suffering that uh, it was neglected uh, all over the, the years because of uh, uh, imperial occupation, because of uh, economic uh, uh, problems, where Africa is sending flow of money to the first world, to the developed uh, uh, countries, much more than it receives uh, of money, because mm -hmm. Africa is, uh, has uh, uh, big burdens of uh, debts. It mm -hmm. pays also the invoice of its imports, and its exports and its attraction to foreign direct investment is not enough to make the balance. So yes. now uh, the initiative of Egypt is to have what we call the tripartite uh, agreements of tripartite cooperation with the Egyptian experience in Africa, with finance from Japan, with finance from China, from uh, Europe, and uh, we have good examples uh, going on. We hope this will be a successful policy for the sake of Africa, for the sake of Egypt also. Your Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant to the Foreign Minister, thank you very much for joining us on Panorama News here on Al International.
The foreign minister, Sema Shokri, and Japan's foreign minister headed a preparatory summit for the TCAD in the Japanese city of Yokohama. They held an earlier meeting to discuss bilateral ties and issues of mutual concern, as well as the agenda of the TCAD conference. On the sidelines of the TCAT conference, ministers of trade and industry and investment inaugurated the Egyptian-Japanese Business Forum. They reviewed economic plans in Egypt and strategies to boost industry and foreign trade within the 2030 vision. They also reviewed expanding the Egyptian-Japanese cooperation in African countries under the Egyptian chairmanship of the African Union. Discussions also touched on preferential accessibility for Egyptian exports within the framework of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, which went into effect last May.